Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome back to Metal GP 30. Um, it's a little bit of a different video today because um, for those of you that live in the UK, um, you may not have seen yesterday's Metal GP race uh, because it's on BT now. Um, so I, I just thought I'd like I'd give like a little analysis to the uh, race yesterday for those of you who want to know. I mean. I'm sure you've already gone in on the internet and found out, but um, if you didn't watch it, you definitely missed out on a cracking race. It's uh, probably the best race in MotoGP for quite some time. Um, right from the first lap was uh, it was just action all the way. Um, first lap, uh, Lorenzo bolted out the gates. Um, as he usually does, tried to pull a gap in the first lap, but unfortunately, he ended up crashing. Um, put the front brakes on, just the front just washed away. Uh, so yeah, he went out in the first lap. Um, Bradley Smith was in second at the time. Um, he must have got distracted by Lorenzo because um, Brado took the lead. Uh, Bradley Smith still in second, um, soon lost it to Marquez. Um, Rossi was making his way through the pack after qualifying in only 10th. He was uh, making his way through um, and he had a race long, well, when he, when he finally got his way to the front, um, he was the only one that could stay with Marquez and the uh, battled with him all the way to the line. Um, Marquez ended up winning, um, Rossi second, only two temps behind. So it's definitely um, definitely good from Rossi. Um, I know that he, he did say that um, the first few rounds are vital for him to decide on whether he's going to continue with MotoGP or retire. If he carries on like he did in Qatar, then he's I don't think he's going to retire because he was at the front. It wasn't like he was on the podium by, I don't know, four seconds behind the lead. He was right behind Marquez, right to the end. Um, they're swapping places in the last two laps. Um, so, yeah, ho hopefully we'll uh, carry on that form. Hopefully Lorenzo will... Uh, Definitely do better in the next round. Um, Danny Pedroza uh, never really gone too well at Qatar. He ended up third. Um, Alicia Spagro was fourth after his great form in um, practice sessions. Not so great in qualifying as he crashed both of his bikes, but uh, definitely a good result for him. Um, the fact of the fifth and sixth. Dovi was fifth, Crutchlow was sixth, even though his bike, I'm not entirely sure what, what happened over the line, but it, it stopped, so he, he was lucky to finish. Um, Scott Redding on his debut, he got seventh, first of the uh, open Hondas ahead of Hayden, who was eighth, um, Colin Edwards was ninth, Andrea Iannone was tenth, Hiroshi Ayama was eleventh, Yoni Hernandez was 12, Cal Abraham was 13, Trucci was 14, Brock Parks was 15, um, Michael Abitu was 16, and Mike Demeglier was 17. Um, yes, I have missed out some people because there were non finishes. Um, Lorenzo, as I already said, crashed in the first lap. Um, Hector Barbara, he crashed with 18 laps remaining. Stefan Brado, he unfortunately crashed out of the lead um, with 14 laps to go. He was showing some impressive um, speed anyways. Um, Marquez did struggle to get past him. Even down the straight he couldn't pass him, but uh, unfortunately Brado crashed. Um, Paul Spagaro seemed to have um, gearbox problems. 
gun down the straight. Luckily, his gearbox didn't seize because he's gone down the straight and then come up to the first corner, couldn't get it in gear, so ran straight on. And it went in, went into the pits. Um, Bradley Smith, unfortunately, crashed with four laps remaining. Um, he was in fifth, I think, at the time. He, he was doing well. Um, Funny he didn't uh, crash because he would have ended up fourth because Av Avaro Bautista, who was in fourth at the time, he done what he usually done, two laps remaining, he uh, threw it into the gravel, even though he, he could have ended up on the podium because he was fighting with uh, Danny Pedroza, but he just couldn't, couldn't keep it on the, uh, on the rubbery side down. But that was the uh, race results, guys. Um, really good, good race. Glad that my GP's back in full swing. Um, we need more races like that because that was awesome to watch. Um, next round is in Circuit of Americas, in America, obviously, um, in three weeks' time. Marquez goes well there. Um, he goes away anywhere to be honest but hopefully that should be a good race we want it nice and close because that's what racing is all about anyway guys um hope you enjoyed this video uh leave a like if you did and maybe i'll do do every round maybe i don't know um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i shall see you guys in the next video see you